What's going on, my friends? I hope you're very well. I hope you're having a very good day. Good Friday. Today we're going to be recording a video and talking about this houseplant. A very popular houseplant. Uh, Desert Rose, the Adenium. We can see that it's uh, a plant that we can also grow as bonsai. And uh, it's very interesting when we grow it like this uh, in a very compact size because in addition to the great root base that it can form, it can produce beautiful flowers as we can see in this one right here. This one is a mature one and we can see that it produces beautiful flowers. So today we're going to do exactly that. We're going to start working on one as a bonsai and we have it right here. It's a little seedling. I grew these from seed. Uh, so difference is that they've been growing in different substrates. We can see that the particles on this one are different this one has got bigger chunks uh, so the substrate the soil that we use uh, it's very important it's very important that it's well draining that it gives the plant uh, plenty of room to grow but also a very good draining because th these don't take uh, excess water too well you know so we got to keep it in a very well draining soil so that's the first thing but I think the most important step that we need to take in order to grow these massive root bases and mm, we need to take for it to uh, gain girth when it comes to the trunk or the caudex uh, is pruning the roots and that's exactly what we're going to do with this one we can see that it's long it's spindly uh, it doesn't look like a tree but when we start to prune it mm, we will be able to obtain this in no time in just a season uh, believe it or not so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna take this out of a pot and then we can see what we have there yeah so let's go ahead and do that so here we have it oh very important you guys I forgot to tell you at the beginning of the video but please subscribe please visit my other channel um, you know it's a uh, terrarium and I intend to upload videos on plants and growing vegetables and fruits in containers so right now is fish bowls and musgo so aquariums and terrariums but I intend to upload videos on that as well so please uh, give me a follow subscribe uh, it's in the description box so if you could do that you would really be helping me out so going back to this little guy we can see that we got the root base here and uh, we got tons and tons of fine little roots you know these are the feeder roots and the tree collects all of that moisture all of those nutrients in this huge tuber that we have right here uh, this right here we can see that this is where the soil was the soil level so all of all of all of the you know roots and growth that is under or below that that's the that's the tuber right that's the roots and we can see that we got other roots stemming from the sides that's why we can tell that that's exactly where we need to cut and you might think wow that's super drastic that's uh, uh that's a lot the plant's not going to survive but you would be surprised at how hardy how resilient this plant is so <clears throat> another thing that we're going to do we're going to chop these two maybe maybe one completely and the other one partially so it can begin to ramify and uh, that's going to be like i said step number two when it comes to growing adeniums at bonsai okay so let's go ahead and do that i'm going to show you what it looks like when it's finished and now after the massacre this is what we have <laughs> don't worry trust me it's going to be absolutely no problem uh, the plant is going to recover in no time and now it's not going to grow downwards the root is not going to reach the bottom of the container and circle around giving you a spindly little plant like this no it's going to grow sideways like this like this one right here yeah so another thing is that we can't plant this right away because we will get uh, rotting of the roots rotting and the cut sides so we need to wait for a couple of days because um, um, we when we leave the wound open like this well that's what's going to happen rot uh, it's gonna rot so we need to wait for our callus to form in order to do that we leave this in a dry place well ventilated dry place in order for it to form a callus and then 
we plan. I've got this container ready here. So as I was saying, this needs to be very, very well draining and it needs to have a lot of drainage, right? So this is where we're going to plan this. And after a couple of weeks, we're going to see that this is what we're going to get. Um, let me see. They are over. Oh, yeah, they're over there. Uh, let's take a look. I decided to rec record this video outside because everything is wet. It's been raining for the past couple of days. Uh, but yeah, we can see that I've done something similar with these. And the root base, you can see that it's starting to widen. Same thing over here. Even though this is a tiny container, even smaller than the one we're going to use, this little guy has started to develop sideways. After it starts to grow and it produce, you know, secondary shoots, then we come in and we prune. We prune in order to develop back budding, and with time, we can achieve this. I'm not sure if you can see this very well because the glare from the sun is killing me. But this is another specimen that I've shown you before. Uh, a couple of years ago, I shot the first video on how to grow adeniums at bonsai, uh, but this would be like the updated version, yeah? And we actually had the little seedling or the little uh, sapling where we actually cut the roots where we uh, saw the first step in its development. So we can see that when we cut, when we cut the foliage, this is what we get, right? Secondary branches, we get more foliage. It's all a matter of giving it uh, enough sunlight this is a plant that it needs to be out in the sun uh, and once the foliage is mature then we come in and we cut from one cut side we get two buds we select two buds and from those two we cut again and we get another two another two so on and so on yeah so we can see that uh, this one it, it looks pretty much like a tree now it started to you know grow sideways um, because of this rain it's been growing and growing, so it it's getting near to a point where we need to cut uh, and prune. Uh, we can also leave sacrificial branches like this one or sacrifice branches like this one right here. And that's going to, you know, further and speed up the process of um, the girth at the root base. Yeah, it's going to speed up the growth of the root base of the caudex and it's going to make our plants look more and more interesting. We can see another one over here. This is fairly new, yeah, but it's the same thing. We can see that it's growing and growing. So uh, yeah, it's pretty easy. If you have any comments, questions, doubts, anything, drop them down below. Subscribe to my other channel. Give it a, a look, yeah, uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.